Hey everyone, Troy here from the Sprint Product Ambassador team, bringing you an unboxing video for the Alcatel One Touch Pixie 7 offered by Sprint. It is a 4G only tablet that we have a promotion on this winter. You can add this to your account or upgrade a line for free. Uh, check in with your Sprint store for details. So uh, go to sprint.com slash store locator to find a location near you today to see if you are eligible. So first, I just want to say that I just received this device after having used the Galaxy Tab S2 for the last couple of months. Um, I'm excited to use this tablet because it's a more of a lower end tablet um, and one that doesn't come with a lot of features that uh, I may not use. Uh, so having a, uh, we'll call it a lower end tablet or a pretty basic entry level tablet um, is convenient because it doesn't have a lot of features that I'm not going to use or that users of this device are not going to use. So it's a pretty basic device uh, which should fit almost everybody's needs. Uh, so it might be good for you, might be good for a friend or a family member, maybe a child. Uh, there's a lot you can do with one of these tablets, especially in the form factor that it's in. Uh, the device, if I recall correctly, is a 7-inch tablet, which would make sense based on the name of Pixie 7, obviously. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just uh, open up the box, see what comes in it, and go from there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and open up the box here. Looks like we got a pretty decent sized tablet. Let me go ahead and set that off to the side real quick. And then underneath here inside the box looks like we've got a quick start guide, user manual, uh, Spanish and English. Looks like we've got the micro USB cable here. Looks to be a decent length. And then we've also got the base for the charger as well. It says Alcatel One Touch on it as well, so it's branded specifically for this tablet. Uh, that way you can't misplace it, hopefully. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Go ahead and close that up so it's nice and neat here. Set that up there. Uh, it just gives you the notification about the location privacy on the device. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look around the device and see what we've got. And remember it's a 7 inch tablet so it fits pretty well in the palm of your hand. Uh, you can hold it with one, two hands like that. Uh, you can hold it with one. So it's a Slightly larger than a fairly large device, so you may recall the Samsung Galaxy Mega somewhere in there. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to peel this off of here for now. Set that off to the side. Looks like we've got the front-facing camera, and that is a 2 megapixel front-facing camera. No flash, as we would expect. Um, and on the back of the device, looks like we've got the 5 megapixel camera. No flash as well, so just keep that in mind when you're using the device. And the speakerphone is there as well. Um, on the side of the device, on this left-hand side here, looks like we've got the micro U or excuse me, micro SD slot as well as the included UICC chip. The micro SD card is expandable up to 32 gigabytes. I strongly recommend using a Class 8 or higher. Uh, you can pick up a, a Class 10 memory card um, at a Sprint store. So when you're visiting the Sprint store to pick this device up, uh, we'll have them there as well. So just ask your sales rep for details on that. Um, on this side of the device, we've got the power key, and we've also got the volume rocker up and down. On the bottom of the device, you'll notice that there is not a charging port, nor is there a headset jack. Um, but there is a microphone, so that way you can use it when you're making, say, video calls using Google Hangouts or Skype or somewhere along those lines. But on the top of the device is actually where the charging port adapter is, or charging port is, um, as well as the 3.5mm headset jack. So we'll go ahead and turn this device on. So and just as a reminder while this is booting up, uh, you can get this as an upgrade or a new line for free um, in a Sprint store. So just visit sprint.com slash store locator, search for your zip code and find a store near you where you can pick one of these up. Um, specific details are available from your sales rep, so make sure you inquire about uh, the free tablet while you're there. Um, again, 7 inch screen. Uh, the, the device weighs about nine, a little over nine ounces with the battery included. Uh, and note that the battery is non-removable, so this back housing does not come off to remove the battery. Uh, while we're talking about the battery, it is a 4,000 milliamp battery that will actually give you quite a bit of uh, usage time on it. Um, so we'll wait for this here. There we go. So now it's just walking us through the setup process here. I'll go ahead and tap that over here. Um, and additionally, the device has 8 gigs of ROM, 
as well as one gig of RAM. So it's not a significant amount of memory for you. So I would strongly encourage you to pick up that micro SD card while you are there in the store. Now it's going to ask you to set up and connect to a Wi-Fi network. So we're going to go ahead and select mine here, live long in Wi-Fi. I'm just going to move it out of view so I can put in my password. And there we go. And as for the battery, uh, so again, it's a 4,000 milliamp battery. While you're using it, you should get anywhere from nine to 10 hours of usage. Of course, your usage time may vary based on various conditions, such as the apps you're using, the, uh, the brightness setting that you have on your device, uh, multiple things like that. However, basically you should get about nine to 10 hours of usage. Um, during standby, you should get over about 570 hours, which is a significant amount of standby time. Uh, now that it's connected to Wi-Fi, it's checking for software updates, things like that. Um, there may or may not be any when you turn the device on. I do not believe that there's been a software update pushed out for this device yet. Uh, so currently, there shouldn't be one when you turn it on. Unless you're getting this in a couple of weeks. If one has posted by then, of course, then you would have to download it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and accept that Google's going to do regular security checks. It's going to ask you to put in your Gmail account information. If you have one, go ahead and enter it in. Otherwise, if you do not have a Gmail account, maybe this is your first Android device or Android tablet, you just want to click on create a new account. But for now, we're going to skip past that. We're going to go ahead and skip that. It's going to ask you for your first and or, la or excuse me, first and last name. We're going to skip that as well. The next screen is asking you to protect your tablet and set up a lock screen. Uh, with as much as we utilize our devices for a lot of personal information, whether it's your, your smartphone or whether it's your tablet, um, it is strongly recommended that you include a some sort of a screen lock so that way should your device fall into the wrong hands, somebody you don't authorize, they can't easily access your content. So always go through and set up the screen lock so that way again your information is safeguarded. We're going to go ahead and skip setting that up for the time being. Just talking about Google services such as location, helping improving location services as well as improving the Android experience. Those are automatically checked for you. I strongly encourage you to read those as well. Looks like the setup wizard is complete, so we're going to go ahead and click done. Gives you a pop-up about wallpapers, widgets, and settings that's saying touch and hold the background to customize. So what's nice about that is we can click got it. You can hold down this and you can add wall, you can change your wallpaper, which we'll go ahead and do real quick. We'll go ahead and change the wallpaper. Looks like there's quite a few pre-standard options. Looks like you've got some live wallpapers and some uh, which move if you're not familiar with those or just some standard background. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose that one and hit set wallpaper. It's not a little bit different. Um, you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've got email, calendar, all of our apps. We've got the camera and we've got the Chrome browser automatically installed here. Uh, so if we open up all apps, again, you can see all of your apps here. You've got a file manager. Looks like you've got icons for both Facebook and Instagram automatically on here, as well as Facebook pages manager. So if you happen to manage Facebook pages, um, and it also hotspot settings. So when you set this up on your Sprint account and you want to use this as a hotspot, you are able to. Just again, for details on that, we want to ask our sales rep for details on that so he or she can give you the right information so you know what you're using and what you're getting yourself into in terms of data usage. Uh, you just scroll left and right to access all of your applications. You can either do all apps or you can click on downloaded. So anything that you download from, say, the Google Play Store or the pre-installed apps from Sprint, they'll show up under downloaded. So you have fairly quick access to it. So it separates your, your stock applications from your downloaded applications. We're gonna go ahead and get back out of this. And if I didn't mention it before, this device is a 4G only, so 4G LTE tablet on Sprint. Also, it has the Wi-Fi capabilities. So what's beautiful about the tablet is that you're able to take it with you virtually anywhere where you would use your smartphone. Um, maybe you're reading a book on the bus or maybe on the train. Uh, maybe you're just a passenger when you carpool, um, or maybe you go to the park and read, or you like to watch YouTube videos or check Facebook, that sort of thing. With Sprint's 4G LTE connectivity, you're able to do that all on the go. Um, if you're restricted in your data plan, you don't want to use too much data, um, or maybe you just want to use Wi-Fi because it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more stable at that time, depending on where you're at. Uh, you may connect to Wi-Fi such as, say, at a Target or a Starbucks or any other place that a Wi-Fi hotspot um, is, a, is available. Uh, you can quickly manage all your settings if you scroll down from the top. 
looks like you've got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a couple other settings up here as well, and you can adjust the screen brightness from here. You can also access your settings by clicking on the gear, and it'll take you into your settings so that you can customize all of the settings to your liking in the device. So go ahead and click back, and again, back, home, and then your multi-window or your task manager. So if you open up multiple applications, you can see them in your task manager, and you can slide them to close them and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up the camera really fast so that way you can see how it works. Um, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's a 5 megapixel camera on the rear. Uh, again, no flash. 2 megapixel camera on the front. No flash as we would expect. Uh, the rear camera has HDR functionality. Uh, if you click on settings, you can adjust multiple things on your rear camera, such as your storage position. So when you pick up that micro SD card, make sure you come in here and select your micro SD card so you're not taking up your internal memory on your tablet. You can turn on face detection, you can change the size of the picture as well as uh, GPS or geotagging as well for each of those pictures. Uh, and so from here you just tap the button there to, to take a uh, photo. You can autofocus or excuse me, focus on a specific area of your photo by just tapping where you want it to focus. And if you want to use the front facing camera, we're just going to go ahead and tap that and there's your front facing camera right there and just take another picture and you're solid. Looks like the internal device memory, um, if, we're, if we're looking at this, it gives you an indicator. Uh, it, it, it's a guesstimate, or, or I should say it's a rough estimate of how many snapshots you can keep on your phone, notwithstanding anything else you may have downloaded on your tablet. Again, it's not a phone, tablet. Uh, down here in the bottom left-hand corner of your camera, it tells you that you have room for about 2,265 photos. And again, if you have files downloaded or additional apps or anything else, that's going to take up room. So your amount of storage space may vary depending on various conditions. And so there's that. Uh, so that's the basic operation of the device. Again, you've got your micro SD card slot over here, your power and volume keys, your charging port, and your headset jack. Uh, so that's the quick unboxing for the Alcatel One Touch Pixie 7 being offered from Sprint. It's a 4G only LTE tablet with connectivity to Wi-Fi as well. Weighs about nine ounces, so not really heavy. Very, very comfortable weight, as well as in your hand, as you can see. Um, and again, eight gigs of ROM, one gig of RAM. Your micro SD card can be expanded up to 32 gigabytes. And uh, yeah, five megapixel camera on the back and two on the front. Head over to your head over to your local Sprint store today. Remember Sprint.com/store-locator to find one near you, so that you can add this to your account. Maybe you have a friend or a family member that needs one. Maybe you need one. Uh, maybe a child needs one for this holiday season, or just in general. Uh, this is a perfect tablet uh, for pretty much anybody on your holiday shopping list, or just in general. Um, it's a very simple, easy-to-use tablet that does not have a significant number of bells and whistles to get lost in. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching, and have a great day.